pierogi made with potato filling are very popular throughout Europe. Potatoes form the base for many different fillings, which include but are not limited to mushrooms, meats, and grains. But perhaps the most popular pierogi made with potato filling is what is called Russian pierogi. That is what is being made in this video. The mixture is fairly simple. One part potatoes, one part white cheese, and three quarters to one part sautéed onions with salt and pepper to taste. You will need about one and one half teaspoons of filling per pierogi and one cup contains about 48 teaspoons. So be sure to estimate the number of pierogi so that you can make the proper amount of mix. Use either fresh boiled and mashed or leftover mashed potatoes. Do not add extra liquid when mashing the potatoes. Use a dry curd white cheese. If you do not have access to white cheese, cottage cheese can be used as long as you drain it and squeeze it dry. The squeezing is very important because the filling must be dry. If not, you cannot properly seal your pierogi. The filling should be nearly as dry as the white cheese that you see in this video. For ease of handling, the final mix should also be stiff and it should be cool. If you have any potato filling left over after you make the pierogi, you can mix it with another filling or you can heat it and serve it at the dinner table with some butter. The filling made in this video was used to make the whole wheat Russian pierogi that are pictured. See my other videos on how to make whole wheat pierogi dough. You are invited to see my other videos and complete pierogi recipe collection that you find in the link below. I hope this video has been informative. Have a good day.